Taylor Hodges of Fire here. Um, today we're going to be doing a very special Skype chat. Basically, it's about love. My friend Paul here has um, a girl in which he likes very, very much. And uh, Paul, can you give us a little hint on this girl that you like? All I can say is that she's got to be the most beautiful girl I've <clears throat> I've met. Um. <clears throat> It's just even hard to me to explain. I, st I still well, can't explain, explain it. What? Well, you don't really have to put it in words. Just, in my opinion, I bet this girl loves, likes you, or maybe even loves you, to the point to where she can't bear to be without you. But there's always an issue when it comes to these kinds of things. There's always somebody else. Beaver boy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have, I have uh, laryngitis. <coughs> <coughs> I have, I hate beaver boyitis. Uh, uh, anyway, um, basically. There's always that somebody in the way who loves to get involved and ruin your life with that certain somebody. <clears throat> Beaver Boy. God. <coughs> it's that damn I hate Beaver Are Boy. You right? <coughs> I don't <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> it's so bad. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright. I'll keep it together. Um, anyways, basically, we're all gonna say she is, she must be a sweet, lovable girl who loves the things that you like, Kingdom Hearts, you know, all those other things that you love to enjoy, Paul, and I bet she is the most beautiful girl that you've ever seen. I know she's the most beautiful best friend I've ever had. And uh, if she sees this video, she should enjoy this moment being on YouTube. But anyway, basically, I think she should give this all a shot. Because you are the sweetest, kindest boy I've ever met in my life. And yet, she wants a man who is cute, yet immature, and doesn't really care about how she feels. When you, Paul, you would give an arm, a leg, your head, your brain, an ear, an eyeball, and even your kidney to make her happy. And those were all random body parts that people really don't need. But anyway, if you want to be with this girl and tell her how you feel, because if you like her so much and you want to be with her so much, just like my Kevin did, I love you Kevin, anyway, just like Kevin did, he came up to me and told me his true feelings for me, oh my god, I'm just going to cry because I'm remembering what Kevin did to me, oh. It was just like yesterday. I love you, Kevin. Anyway, <laughs> do not put that cucumber as his name, Paul, or else I'm going to beat you up when I get there this summer. <laughs> Paul, I swear to God, if you do that stupid cucumber as Kevin, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Watch, you're going to do him as Kevin. <laughs> You should do what Kevin did to me. He he literally, well, we both poured our hearts out to each other, but Kevin told me how he felt for me, and I told him how I felt for him. And that's when we became, oh, he poured his heart out to me. He told me how he truly felt about me. And that's what made me literally fall in love with him. And... Um, you know, I, I just love how he makes me feel, and he makes me feel so happy, like, 
it's just unbelievable. And uh, what you should do is you should tell you truly feel about her. And if she declines you, just say, I know you don't love me the way I love you, but if you need anything, I will be at your side no matter what. Just tell her if she does decline you, just say I'll always be there for you as a brother, as a friend, you know. Don't just give up. If you if you love her, like her, whatever, you would be by her side with her decisions. And, you know, she, this girl who I, who is so dear to my heart, because she has changed my life throughout my whole junior year and has changed the way I thought about things just with her outgoing personality and the way she makes me feel so happy as a friend and her being there and cheering me up when I'm sad. You know, she's, she's just that kind of person who I know would be there for anybody if they needed a hand. And, you know, she, she's just that kind of girl who would love to be with a guy like you, Paul. But she's, she's got other systems going on in her head. She's got other guys who like her and she's got she's got guys that she likes and no matter what happens you will always have to be by her side and that's what Kevin has done for me and that's why I love Kevin so much and that's why Kevin's moving in with me <laughs> because Kevin is my, my, you know, he's my lover. He's my, he's probably going to be my husband at one point because I love him so much. And our relationship has grown so much that it has become something so unbelievable in which I thought I could never do. But yet, I've done it. Because I believed in myself, and I told myself, is this boy, this, this guy, is he the one for me? And he fought for me. And that's why me and Kevin have such a great relationship, because he's, he's my everything, he's my world. that folks um we are having technical difficulties with the skype chat but as i was saying this girl in which paul loves or likes or whatever you know i just think that he should give it all he has and just tell her how he feels about her what you should do paul is tell her how you feel so basically Everybody in this world wants to find that perfect someone. In my opinion, Paul has found that perfect someone. And her name, get ready everybody, drum roll please, Paul be sure to put a drum roll, drum roll in this. Her name is Hannah Zangari. Yes, folks, my close and dear friend of mine, Hannah Zangari. And, uh, Paul, you need to fight for Hannah. And be that Hannah will be there for you.